What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video, and this time is that time of month again where Phil takes a whole day of work and decides to do a long form content for his DSP Reacts channel, and he hopes that the dents come out and throw that money his way. Make them tips, throw them tips, make it rain, you know it, he wants memberships, he wants super chats, he wants super thanks, he wants tips, he wants it all. And of course, the thing Phil is going to do today is do his analysis on how his dents perform. And spoiler alert, he is not happy. They did not do well whatsoever. You can see here this little clip art here from Game Face Gamer out on Twitter. He made a whopping $84 in tips. That, didn't even, that probably didn't even cover the Indian food he ordered for himself and his whore, I mean his wife. Uh, Cause you know that stuff gets expensive. Phil spends 70, $80 just on food alone. And Indian food specifically is kind of expensive. So he probably spent even more to get that food delivered. And he is not happy. And he tries his best to um, cover his sadness and his disdain for his dents. But you know Phil. Phil is going to be Phil. And the one thing that, you know, I've been talking about lately is how his content is simply just not working out for this DSP React uh, channel. And I'll get into that as the video play. Let's get into it. And today we were reacting to the Internet Historian YouTube channel uh, after people had basically nominated it and said, we don't want drama this month. Let's do something completely different and funny and interesting. And so I reacted to the channel all day long. Let's talk a little bit about how it went. So first of all, we had a level one podcast here on DSP Gaming. That was pretty good. <clears throat> we had a few different discussions, some game news updates, potential for um, maybe a, a surprise beta tomorrow. Overall, a pretty good podcast that went well, and I enjoyed chilling with you all. Then we headed over to the DSP Reacts channel. For the first 20 minutes or so, we discussed what we were going to do, and we did a poll, and the first video that you guys voted for from Internet Historian was the fall of 76. And so, I reacted to that video, it took about an hour, it was about a 26 minute video, it took about 50 some minutes. I would say it went really well. Then you guys uh, again voted, and voted for the cost of Concordia, and it, it just turned out that video was around uh, 40 some minutes, and we had just enough time, about an hour and a half, hour 40 minutes, to react fully to that one before my food arrived, which was actually Indian food that we had ordered today. And so, that was good, because uh, we finished up that react just in time had a full Indian meal that was absolutely delicious. And then you guys voted one final time and you wanted to react, re react, bleh. You wanted me to react to the Ingoodening of No Man's Sky, which was his longest video that we reacted to, 53 minutes, and it took just under two hours to react to it. So there was a lot of reacting. Now, what went well and what didn't go well? <clears throat> Let's talk. The first thing I wanna point out is of course, he blames the dents for deciding on what exactly it was that they wanted to watch. They didn't want to watch drama, which that's not the case. It was Phil that said he didn't want to watch drama and he wanted to do something different. But of course he's laying the uh, framework down for blaming the dents because they chose the content and they didn't enjoy it, I guess. He's, 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 he's trying to imply. And that's the reason why they didn't tip him. And it's really, it's really funny. He later on, he actually starts talking about how, um, you know, that he noticed, he noticed, you know, he took analysis in, and he definitely took notes that when he wasn't reacting to stuff, tips actually were flowing in. So of course, it's never him. It's the content that the dents choose. So let's keep going. Viewership, pretty good all day. You know, started at strong, over 400 viewers. Had that for a long time. Really didn't dip until the food. And then we still maintained just about between 350 to 400 viewers all day. That's great. Engagement. Hey, we got a lot of... For marathon, a marathon-style project that Phil does, that's garbage. That's garbage. Last year, he was pulling in between five and sometimes 700, depending on what he was doing. So to be happy with three to 350 is not good at all. And he was hovering close to the lower 290, like 280, 290 to about 315, 320. Every time I popped in, those were the numbers that I was seeing. Not these 350 to 400 or 40. No, 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 no. He didn't get that whatsoever. And the thing is, the same thing happened last month when he did this thing. When he did it last month, I think he got 50 bucks. So... You could just see it just trending down, and I, I think, like I like I've stated, is that I think the the dents for the most part have wised up, 
and some of his bigger dents that used to really support uh his content um you know like your jack racksters uh you know some of those some of those uh pay pigs that have kind of left and gone for a while they're not there to save him they're not there to just throw cash at him the only one out there now that seems to be supporting him is game trekker game trekker but he can't do it every day i think he did it yesterday he came in and he dropped in did he drop in cash i think he dropped in no he didn't do it it was somebody else but it seems to be game trekker every time he does the react content the short form react content that actually drops a 25 to 50 dollar dono and then he breaks you know he ends up making 70 80 bucks um you know so he again is relying on these whales to prop him up and prop this channel up and as we can clearly see here he made a whopping 84 dollars in tips and what for what for almost 10 hours of streaming and content that's sad he essentially made what like eight bucks and oh, okay so yeah all right, here it is right here stream seven seven point seven hours and 13 minutes that's without the breaks i'm guessing so he made 15 bucks an hour he made 15 bucks an hour and it, it's not going to get better, Phil. It's not. It's not. And then what you're doing is you're hurting your views on your main channel. And I'm actually going to be doing a analysis uh, for the April. So I'll probably do it tomorrow or Tuesday where I'm going to take a look at uh, the money he made, where he was last year, because he's still very, he's still bad. You know, he's still, he's still uh, trailing the financial, the money he made from last year to this year. And what I want to do is I want to take a look at uh, the DSP views for DSP gaming and then DSP reacts and show you that, look, this is concrete hurting his channel. I believe I looked in for April before the end, before the month was over. No, I'm sorry for March. I looked at March's number because that was available to me. He made like 600,000 views on DSP gaming, which is terrible, terrible. And uh, this month probably is going to be just as low. So I want to, I'll do a quick trend and I'll show you guys like where he's been dipping severely in which analytics. The likes on the stream, people were talking to me, not maybe as much as I would have liked. And some of the feedback I got <clears throat> was that because we're doing a long form react and I'm watching something and reacting to it constantly, there's not as much opportunity to really talk. If I'm doing gameplay or a shorter react to a clip show, it's a little different because of the variety. But when I'm doing this long form react, everyone's kind of engrossed in it. And because of that, there's not that much opportunity to really talk directly to me. Okay, fair enough. I still thought the engagement was great. We had like almost 200 likes on the stream. There you go. Support. Well, Super Chats. Did okay. I think by the end of the day, we had about 60 bucks. That's not bad. Memberships. Actually did great. We hit a new record of memberships on, on DSP Reacts today. Guess how many? 123. So that's the most we've ever had on the channel. It's still growing, which is great that the channel is actually growing. I'm very pleased with this. So thank you. Of that 80 of them, 80 of them are gifted. So there's no growth there, Phil. That's essentially dense propping up your channel yet again. That's all it is, Phil. And the problem with that is, is that it's not consistent. So next or well, this month, um, you're gonna have a big drop off. I think uh, around the 10th, you're probably going to drop about 30, 30 members because people aren't just going to keep throwing cash your way. This is the whole Emil thing again, where Emil got tired of bailing you out every month on DSP gaming. And he just gave up and said, I can't keep giving you a hundred members every month. So that's, what's going to happen to your DSP rack content fail. And especially now that you're talking about maybe no longer doing the long form content. And we'll get into that when he starts talking about that, because of course he's threatening to wage quit the long term of uh, the long form content. So what is he going to do? Just a weekly show? That's it. And a couple of reviews now and then, because, you know, he promised that whole interview series, which never is going to happen. It, I, I told you that from the very beginning when he mentioned it, it was never going to happen. And it hasn't happened since he's been up since what, February? And no one, no promises of doing an interview or anything. And he shut that down even more after the whole side scroller drama. So you're never going to get an interview series. So right now he's reacting to a few shows and doing that weekly uh, react show to short co form content. And then he's doing his long form. And now he's threatening to wage quit the long form content. What the hell are you getting from this channel? What are you getting for $4.99 for our membership? If you were someone who became a member, gifted a membership, renewed a membership today, that was very nice of you. We got like 23 members today. That is superb. The most we've ever had, hitting new records. Very happy about that. 
tips well they were abysmally slow today we didn't even hit the gunner glasses goal of 50 bucks until the final video react and <clears throat> And I take that back. It was right. It was right at the end of the second video react. So I took him off for food, and then we put him on for the final one. Um, funny part is when we finished the reaction ports of the stream, I did kind of a final summary, and I talked a little bit for about 20 minutes about what I, how I think the channel is doing. It was almost like a cumulative. Here's an update on DSP reaction, how I think it's doing. But I no, you do what you do with your gaming. When when you don't have the tips, and the tips aren't there, and you're theming for tips, you stop early. And you do this whole, let's have a Q&A session. Let's do an impromptu Q&A. Let's talk. Because what you hope for is that people throw money your way. You hope a dent gets, a, one of your pay picks gets word that, you know, you put the whale call out there and they come in and they drop 30 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever the case is. You did the same thing here, Phil. You did the same exact thing. I need your feedback about these long form reacts. Then some tips came in. So it was almost like people didn't want to support the long form react. They wanted to support when I talked to them, which is interesting. So you're saying you'd much rather just have discussions with me and, and, and support that than have me actually react to any kind of significant content. <laughs> Why are you laughing, you asshole? Why? Why are you laughing? Then you wonder why people make these type of videos about you, Phil. It's shit like that. Why are you laughing? Okay, you didn't make the money you thought you were going to make. You didn't have enough money to blue your WWE pools. You 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 really kind of broke even because, you know, that you you decided to DoorDash Indian food and hay for your wife. So you you kind of broke even. You need to shut up. You need to thank your 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 members and your viewers and just move on and stop with this stupid smirk and this, oh, 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 you know stop it was surprising like i said we were around 50 bucks the entire stream then all of a sudden in the last 40 minutes where i was doing a final closing video and saying goodnight to everyone raised like another 30 bucks so almost doubled the tips um but here's the thing I'm going to be honest because I talked about it also in this kind of state of DSP reacts video that will go live later this week on that channel. The long form react events actually are some of the low, the lower support that I get. If I today had broken up today into two gameplay streams, like let's say I had the Dark Souls, excuse me, Elden Ring on the first stream and maybe Oblivion on the late stream, the two streams combined would have done better support wise than the long form marathon I just did that was 10 hours long. So the question is, are these long form reacts working? Do you want them? Or maybe it's something I shouldn't do. Or maybe it's something I should do less often. Right now I'm doing them monthly. Maybe I should do them every other month. Okay? So I want people's feedback. <clears throat> okay, right there. You heard it. He wants to wage quit because he's not getting the money. The reason, Phil, you're not getting the money for these long-form contents is because you used to make it as, you used to make it when it was on DSP Gaming. You made it part of a reward for your members if they hit the goal, right? So you got the memberships for that. And then you would do the 10 hours or whatever you did and <clears throat> people would come on and support you. They would, you know, you would make two, three, 400 bucks sometimes on these long form streams, typically between 250 and 300 bucks, right? But now that it's in DSP reacts and your react channel essentially is funded by memberships. Why should anyone feel the need to tip you? They're already giving you a membership. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? So you always expect this level of support where if you normally tip, you you still want them to tip. But if you know you, you tip, you should also buy a membership. And that's why that's specifically why the tips are low for and I told last week last month you you have 50 bucks for doing the same thing. You did the same exact thing and I think you made like fifty dollars. So I, what it is is people feel like we've already paid you for this membership. This is part of the content that you promised for this channel. Stop begging. Essentially, that's what it is. And when you stop short, right? And you were like, well, let me stop short so I could talk to the people. That's a tale. That's telling people, hey, I didn't make enough money. I need you guys to throw some money my way. That's essentially what it is.
There's a whole video discussing this that's going to go live on DSP Reacts later on in the week that I know people are going to be commenting on and letting me know their thoughts. So I'm, I'm excited for that one to go live. But outside of that, I did have a great time today overall. I had a lot of fun and I like the Internet Historian channel now. Like I'm a fan of it. The three videos I watched today were well done and I really enjoyed myself. I understand why those videos have millions and millions of views. Okay, so good stuff overall. Um, and I had a great time doing it. So what I'm about to do right now is upload everything. The podcast, this daily wrap, and then all the parts from today's React event, including the starter video, which was the intro video explaining the premise and people voting, the React to the fall of 76, the two parts of the React to the cost of Concordia, and the two parts of the React to the good inning of No Man's Sky, the food vlog, which was Feasting with the Phil, Indian food, and then that fi- what the hell is feasting with the Phil? Oh, Lord. Final state of DSP Reacts video where I want people's feedback. So that's a lot to upload. And what's going to happen is it's going to be one or two videos live a day. Today, there'll be two. Maybe there'll be one a day for the rest of the week. And then maybe at the, like the end of the week, there'll be the food vlog and the state of uh, DSP Reacts video going live. So there'll be variety of content over the course of this week going live on the channel. I think that's good. There'll be a good amount of videos there. Okay. So... I hope you enjoyed it. If you're here live, thanks. If not, I, will, I love your feedback. As you watch On Demand over the week, please leave comments on the videos over there. Remember, if you're a member on DSP Reacts, you can access that archive stream immediately. You don't even have to wait. But if you're not, then you have to watch those videos as they go On Demand slowly over the week. And I hope you will watch them and let me know your thoughts. Fair enough? <clears throat> so, thank you guys very much. Great streaming day. Support was the one thing lacking. By the end of the day, support was okay. It wasn't a great day. It was just okay. Yes, folks. Yes, Dense. It was just okay. It was just okay. Giving them 23 new members. Uh, giving them 62 bucks in, su in Super Chats. And only giving them $84. So, he's my mighty disappointed in you guys. And he's going to have to punish you. So, the punishment is, is that he gets to do less work. And he will eliminate the long-form content. Even though that was one of the things that he offered for this uh for this channel as an incentive for your membership for you to give him money and now he's wage quitting that as well anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out